we are taking advantage of the great technology that surrounds us, like high performance computing and engineering, in order to solve biological problems that are really hard and that are of national importance. We have a strong, diversified R&D portfolio from health to environmental applications. On the health side, as we are coming out of a global pandemic, conducting biomedical research for saving lives has become more urgent for each of us. On the environmental side, to reverse climate change and global warming, we're developing a suite of biotechnologies to speed up the clean energy transition and to remove CO2 from the air. To support the experimental research, the Biosciences and Biotechnology Division Building 360 Complex houses the cornerstone facilities for advanced biological research at the laboratory. It consists of six buildings and over 70,000 square feet of laboratory space. The complex is part of a larger infrastructure that fosters a safe and secure environment for collaborative, innovative, basic, and applied sciences that address complex challenges. Rare earth elements are critical components of many clean energy, defense, and consumer technologies. For example, smartphones, hard disk drives, electric vehicles, wind turbines, to name a few. One of the challenges is that rare earth elements, or at least the extraction and separation, is very uh, chemically intensive and environmentally damaging. So there's a need to, to develop uh, novel methodologies for more environmentally friendly extraction and separations of, of rare earth elements. And we're taking inspiration from biology, so there's a subset of microbes that have evolved the capability to extract rare earths from their natural environments in order to facilitate their carbon metabolism. And so what we're doing is essentially mining their genomes to identify proteins that can be used for more environmentally friendly extraction and separation of rare earth elements. So we can take advantage of some of Livermore's protein engineering and machine learning capabilities to develop new versions of the protein that are even better at doing the separation. So the large Livermore microbial detection array is a very powerful technology. It can detect many thousands of microbes in a single test. Uh, so those microbes include viruses, bacteria, fungi, protozoa, and archaea. Our motivation to develop the array uh, is really we want to have a kind of powerful tool where in a single test, we can analyze any of the known uh, microbes. It's ideal technology to diagnose an unknown sample. So that unknown sample could be a biological sample, it could be a clinical sample such as blood, or it could be an environmental sample such as soil and uh, the array is much faster and cheaper than other molecular detection tools such as DNA sequencing. Recently, we were able to use the array to analyze samples from space. Uh, so we have uh, uh, samples from the International Space Station, both the environmental samples and also astronaut samples. And we put those samples on the array to really identify uh, what microbes uh, does the space station carry or any of the microbes could be pathogenic and could affect the health of the astronauts. We are trying to look at the mechanism of how cancer initiates and specifically how a cell membrane can have a role in that mechanism. To investigate this problem, we're leveraging the lab's supercomputing capabilities to put together a multi-scale simulation capability where we can look at things in very, very minute detail, but also on a much larger and longer time scale that's closer to the, the experiments that our colleagues will carry out. We have uh, experimental biologists, computational biologists, uh, computer scientists, uh, material scientists, uh, machine learning experts. Everyone's bringing their own uh, area of expertise and really combining it together to make something that's far greater than the sum of its parts. We are building an in silico drug discovery platform optimized for high performance computing. And also we are leveraging um, several of the world's most powerful supercomputers at the lab 
to try to expedite the drug discovery process. Traditional drug discovery is a slow process. In the past, modeling has to sacrifice some accuracy for speed. At the lab, with the supercomputer and the, the generosity of Institutional Grand Challenge program, we can get accuracy and speed uh, at the same time. Here at Lawrence Livermore, I'm using nanolipoprotein particles, which are small particles, to, de to deliver uh, vaccines in people. And we're trying to use this Livermore developed technology um, to apply it to sexually transmitted diseases in collaboration with the NIH. On these projects, we're working with engineers and with chemists, uh, uh, geneticists, molecular biologists. So there's a lot of different people that we get to interact with and ways in which we can think about solving these major national problems. We're making these small nanodisks, which means they're sub 100 nanometers in size. And the nanodisc is actually a mixture of proteins that corral lipids to make like a little raft. And that little raft is the supporting scaffold for antigens or proteins and molecules in which you can uh, build an immune response to and have protection from uh, subsequent viral or bacterial infections. A lot of the low-hanging fruit for vaccines have already been plucked, so to say. So for the technologies that we currently have, um, you know, anything that they were applicable to has been, has been developed and we are now protected against all sorts of things that we weren't before. Um, but there are some sticky points left. Uh, think of, of the new COVID variants or think of flu, um, where there's, there's new species emerging or new variants emerging. Um, and we're constantly playing catch up. So some of these species with large breadth or, or other issues um, are, are kind of harder to tackle. Our biggest successes so far have been in redesigning antibodies based on their structure and their interactions with their pathogen targets. We've done a lot in terms of redesigning proteins for, um, for greater breadth, but now we're gonna turn that question around and say, can we redesign the antigen instead and produce a cross-protective vaccine? Brain on a Chip is an integrated experimental platform whereby we have neurons and brain cells that are in a recording device uh, which incorporates microelectrodes. The microelectrodes in our devices pick up the signals that are being generated by the neurons. When the neurons communicate with one another, um, they evoke small electrical signals that are picked up by these microelectrodes. These microelectrodes allow us to listen in on the conversation of the neurons. If we then add a chemical compound or a therapeutic, how does that compound affect how these neurons talk to one another? And understanding how they talk to one another and how that's disrupted, uh, especially in the context of human cells, uh, allows us to develop better countermeasures and better therapeutics. The problem we're trying to, to solve is to develop a relevant human system of the brain so we can really understand disease and also understand how specific chemicals or biological materials affect the brain. Um, this is really to understand how we can better inform therapeutics um, and drugs to help people. Using these systems, we're now applying our technology to a variety of different areas with collaborators. Uh, this includes looking at um, opioids, how do opioids affect the brain, how can we help combat addiction and create better therapeutics to help folks that are addicted to drugs like opioids. Um, in addition to that, um, being able to understand neurodegenerative diseases like ALS um, and how we can really understand what's happening within the human brain um, to better inform therapeutics for that disease. As we're celebrating the labs, 70th anniversary. We are super excited of the bio research at the lab as a whole, with strong support from across the lab and strong partnerships from academia and industry. We have built a strong foundation to draw talents, to engage and expand with the community and partnership, 
and to continue to serve our nation.